Ah, uh, so we make the polenta, and then uh, uh, we put it on a place like this so we can spread a little bit, um, I think about an inch or so. And uh, then when it's a little cooler, we're going to cut it in slices like this. You want to slice that are kind of not too thin, not too wide. Then uh, what you do is uh, you you take uh, each and every slice, you take it and you put it in your pan and you arrange it like this, almost like you would do pulling, uh, lasagna, I mean. And then you fill it up all the way and then you put a piece of uh, a piece of fontina uh, all over, some pieces of fontina, some pieces of gorgonzola, and uh, some pieces of Swiss, Swiss or whatever cheese you like. Uh, not too strong because you already have the gorgonzola that is fairly strong. And then you grate on top of each layer uh, some pecorino romano. So then you do the first layer with this and then you cut it in another number of slices. So you put it back and you do the second layer. Again, same story. You put the four cheeses, you grate the, the pecorino on top of it, and then you go for the next layer. In the end, maybe to keep that all nice and moisture, you put some uh, uh, cream all around. Then uh, you're ready. You you go up and do another nice little grater of uh, uh, pecorino, and then uh, you put in the oven at 350, 360 for about 20 minutes, no more. So much that the uh, the cheese will melt, the top will be kind of nice and crunchy, and you are all ready to eat.